This is how I would learn to code if I could start all over again. For context, I'm an 18 year old college dropout working at Microsoft. Before this, I worked as a contractor for numerous companies. So I know a thing or two about creating software or breaking them. But in order to tell you what I would do differently, I need to give some background. I started coding since I was nine years old. This is everything that I learned in order. I first started with HTML and CSS, learning about basic web design. I then moved on to JavaScript, creating functional web apps. And then I moved on to online courses and graphic designing. I did a lot of graphic designing work with Shaw Academy. And then I moved on to learning about native Android app development with Java. I moved on to Swift for native iOS app development. And then I also started learning about Python for some of the machine learning courses that I was doing. And fast forward four years, when I turned 13 years old, I managed to become the youngest certified Android app developer in the world. And then when I turned 14, I graduated high school and then started the University of British Columbia. This is where I learned Racket, which was pretty useless. But then at age 17, I managed to join Microsoft and then I learned C Sharp there. Going back in time, these are the five things that I would do differently. Focus on breaking down problems and not just coding. Stop trying to learn all programming languages. Stop spending time building non-UI programs. Focus on building more projects and doing more graphic designing. This one is not what you think. I'll explain at the end. The main thing that I would focus on is understanding that there's a difference between coding and solving a problem. The coding is just the act of writing code. You just type on your machine, but solving a problem is where the real jackpot is. The ability to break down a problem into smaller chunks is what software engineers get paid for. Here's the roadmap that I would follow. I would first start with learning about programming fundamentals. I would do an online free course from Free Code Camp, Udacity, or Code Academy, and just get myself familiar with all the programming basics, variables, functions, classes, etc. All the programming fundamentals I would get myself familiar. And then I would immediately move to learning about a framework. So I would either learn to create a website, an app, or a game. The frameworks that I recommend are React, Flutter, Unity, native Android or native iOS app development. But how do you decide what you start developing? Well, use your daily life as an inspiration. Do you play a lot of games? Well, start by creating games. Do you use a lot of apps? Well, try to make some of your own apps. Whatever you decide to do, it has to be something that you can commit to for a long time. Follow a lot of YouTube tutorials. Build as much projects as you can. You've heard other people say that you should not clone projects from tutorials. You should. This is where you learn the most. I realized I wasted a lot of time doing Code Academy style programming, which is ineffective. It's like a sandbox environment where it still has value, but the real juice is where you actually learn by doing or creating projects. There's a theoretical brute force way of learning coding, reading books, articles, doing lead code questions. Should you do that? No. My biggest tip would be to make a clone of a really complex program that you already use. This will train your brain to tackle a problem and break it down into smaller pieces. This is what separates the average programmers from the 1% of programmers. But what type of project should you build? Think about a problem that you face currently. For example, one of the problems that I had learning when I was learning to code was watching anime. There was no good way of watching anime on my phone. Anytime I would open any type of website, there would be so many pop-ups. So I decided to build my own anime streaming app. So I built one, a really famous one called My Anime. This app made me a lot of money. I'll share more details in another video. So make sure you guys subscribe. So I broke this down into three parts. First would be how do you actually create apps? So just learning the process of creating mobile apps. The second would be how the heck I would show animes on my app. And then third would be like, how do you actually stream an episode? Like when I click on an anime, like what happens? So all these problems, breaking them down further into smaller and smaller bits, I was able to commit to this project and finally build my own anime streaming app. So the main goal for you should be to find something that is a problem for you and solve it with a game, an app or a website. We're trying to get into a sustainable habit of learning every single day. This way your motivation will be high and you won't get bored and you'll be easily market route. The last thing that you probably did not expect that I want you to focus on is graphic design. When you're creating an application that users interact with, you need a basic understanding of user experience. All the programmers, all of their knowledge is constrained within programming and just software architecture. Do some type of a short designing course on YouTube. Learn about color theory, learn about adaptive design. This will give you an edge on all the other programmers. Their knowledge is limited to coding and problem solving, whereas your knowledge is that plus onto the designing world as well. Click here to learn about the three skills that helped me get employed at Microsoft at the age of 17. Thanks.